And if you can't tell already, I don't think Carson and Blake are going to let go of each other anytime soon. Please welcome to the stage, Carson Daly. There's Blake's next hit song right there. Well, there's been so much, so much toasting, so little roasting. We'll see if we can change that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hollywood. As you know, I'm here to present my good friend Blake Sheldon with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which is strange because Blake does not live here or even like it here. <laughs> After today, I assure you, Blake will never see this star again. In fact, as soon as he leaves, you could probably dig it up and re-gift it to Blake Lively. <laughs> Blake's not a Hollywood guy. Once when we were shooting The Voice, he was so homesick, I had to take him to a Bass Pro Shop in Riverside just to get him to stop crying. I left him there for two weeks and he was happy. I met Blake in 2010 when NBC hired him to be a coach on The Voice. We did a very extensive search and after every other country singer said no, NBC said, let's give whoever this is a shot. He's wearing a cowboy hat and smells like a horse. <laughs> Somehow Blake would go on to become the biggest and weirdly only breakout star from The Voice. <laughs> That's and, good. That's good. That didn't get the laugh at <laughs> And would meet a co-star he would go on to marry. Oh. CeeLo Green. Blake dating Gwen was hard for many of us to believe. She fronted a ska band in Orange County. Blake wrote a song called Hillbilly Bone. Gwen was unable to resist this hillbilly's bone. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> We're not done. I had the honor of marrying Blake and Gwen in a private ceremony on their beautiful ranch in Oklahoma. It was a beautiful sight. Gwen was decked out in Vera Wang. Blake was wearing jeans and a rifle. It gave new meaning to the term shotgun wedding. Some fun facts about Blake. He has 28 number one hits. 17 of them are about a dead dog. Blake is the son of a used car dealer and owner of a beauty salon, which explains why he loves cars and wearing makeup. In 2017, Blake was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, and in 2018, he was named Ebony Magazine's Whitest Man Alive. <laughs> the very next year. Not only is Blake a TV star, he's a movie star. He played the voice of Earl in the movie Angry Birds, for which he was nominated for nine Academy Awards. He's won so many awards, but more than anything, Blake is a musician, a songwriter, an American poet. I'd like to quickly read you lyrics from his smash hit song, I Lived It. Granddaddy smoked Salem's with the windows up, drove me around in the back of that truck. We drank from the hose and spit in the cup. We all survived somehow. <laughs> Mama poured grease in a Crisco can, put 100,000 miles on a Sears box fan. Uncle Joe put tobacco on my hand where them yellow jackets tore me up. Does anyone else have the chills? Blake? You are nearly illiterate, but we love you, I love you, America loves you, and whether you like it or not, Hollywood loves you. Today we immortalize your name in pavement on the Walk of Fame. Congratulations, pal. Oh, do any of y'all's cheeks hurt from laughing? This has just been spectacular.